Hey, welcome back. I'm Mary Jo, also known as Sojo, and this is my channel where I talk about all my quilty stitchy things. And this is my weekly update, number 65, and it is May 26, 2024. So this week, I've had a busy week. Let's see, my son had his last day of school, my husband had a birthday, and then yesterday, my daughter graduated high school. So it's been a busy week. But I still managed to get some things some things done and worked on throughout the week for all of my little crafting and sewing projects. Now also at the end of this video, I'm going to be opening up my giveaway to win one of my quilts. And if you want to know which one I'm giving away, well then go back and watch my 2024 quilt truck show to find out all of that information that just released this past Thursday. So I did manage to quilt something on the long arm. So let's hang it up, take a look at it. So this is what I quilted on the long arm this week. Now normally I get my husband to hang these up, but he's not here right now. So I had to do it myself. It was quite a workout. Now, this is a pattern. I know it is an Eleanor Burns quilt in a day pattern, but I don't remember which one because it was a quilt set that I had pieced several years ago, but I just got it on the long arm this week. Now when I quilted it, I quilted it with a daisy galore pantograph, so there's daisies all over it. So we'll go in, take a closer look. Okay, so we're going to kind of start at the top here and go over. You can see those daisies popping out with the quilting. Coming down a little bit. Now this is a pretty long quilt. I don't know the dimensions on it. I didn't measure it. But I think this is probably about twin size, but a little bit longer. Okay, so that's what that quilt's looking like. So with this quilt that was quilted, I have quilted a total of 14 quilts this year. Now I had a goal to quilt 20, I'm only, or not 20, a goal to quilt 50 this year. I've fallen behind and I'm only about 14. I'm hoping maybe in the summer I can make some of that up, but you know, we'll see. If not, I guess I just don't, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. Now I did work on four other quilt tops this week. We'll take a look at that. <clears throat> so this was a pattern, a free pattern that I had got from Wilmington Prints. Wilmington Batiks. And here is the pattern. Now I am not nor using these fabrics. I'm using the own fabrics I had. And not all of them are batiks. But even my cotton ones kind of have a batik look to them. So I've mixed cottons and batiks. So here's where I am. I'm working on that center. Kind of hard to see. So there's that, and again, there's what that pattern looks like. And then we just start adding a bunch of borders to the outside. Now some of these borders are pieced with different fabrics, and I have all of those sewn together, so it is just a matter of adding borders as I go. And like I said, this is still pinned there, so I still have to sew that seam down. What? I worked on that quilt. And then I worked on this half pack quilt. Now this half pack quilts it, um, are sold in quilt shops and what it is, it's five half yard cuts of fabric and then you pick a fab uh, pattern that you wanna go with it. And this pattern I picked out was called Picnic Basket. So I've got all the blocks sewn together, pretty simple quilt. So I just have to sew the rows to the rows here. I'm 
to show. See, I got pens for the rows. So after I sew that, I just have to add a border all the way around and then that one is done. Now I did work on two other quilt tops. Just give me a second to put this up and I will pull those out. Got that back in there. Now I worked on the Meet the Makers quilt. And this is from Riley Blake Designs and this came out several years ago. It was a box kit. There's basically four blocks and then an alternate block. So let me show you the quilt picture. So here's a picture of the quilt. So I've got all the alternate blocks done, which are 25, and they have different colors because that's the alternate block with the pink around and the purple. There's 25 of those. I got all those sewn. I got block one sewn, which are eight of, and then I've got block two cut out, and I'm working on piecing that together, and block three cut out and piecing that together. I haven't cut out block four and started on that yet, but I'll do that next time. So here are some of the alternate blocks. There's a green, a yellow. I know there's another green, another green, some purples. Let's see, we've got some pinks. and some oranges. And then we have all of block two so, and there's eight of these. And then we're working on block three, which is this block right there. Basically, I've made some half square triangles and I've pieced a, a little square beside that. And then I've got this for the middle of that block. Those are all done. And I started on block three, which is that block right there. which the only thing I've done is in the process of starting some flying geese, but I've got it all cut out. So that's where I am on the Meet the Makers. And the other quilt top I worked on this week was my legendary quilt pattern. from Elizabeth Hartman. So let me pull that out. So here is my quilt pattern. Now my trees are all scrappy. I did not use the same fabric for the trees. They have different fabrics in them. But I have started piecing those together and I've got the sashing pinned to the rows. And I'll show you what it looks like so far. So after I finish sewing that sashing, then all I have to do is add side and top and bottom borders and this will be done. So there's are my trees. There's that Sasquatch block poking out there. And then one last row of trees. Okay. 
Okay, so that's everything I've worked on as far as sewing and quilting this week. And then I'll show you what I've done, my progress, and my cross stitch. So I finished my July sampler of the month for cross stitch. Here's a picture of that. And this is what it looks like. So now that I have June and July done, I will now do that to a fully finished objects and I can put that on that easel that I showed a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> and I started working on August. I didn't bring the picture in here. Darn it. But not much. I'll show you what I made. The progress. Not much progress so far. But I forgot to bring a picture in here, so I can't show you what that looks like. And I'm still working on this cardigan, which is going to take a while because this is using a one weight or sock weight. And I'm still working on the back panel. I'm almost done with the back panel, but not quite. There it is, just the back panel. Now I did make some progress with my diamond painting, um, but not a lot, so I'm just gonna skip that for today. And let's get to the good. So in order to win my giveaway, which will be one of my quilts that was in the 2024 trunk show, you can go take a look at that, see if you're interested. But in order to win, you must be 18 or older because I will be asking for a physical address to ship this and you must have a US shipping address. Now I wish I could ship a international, but unfortunately I just can't afford that. However, if you live out of the United States but have friends and family that live inside side the United States I'd be more than happy to ship it to that address so you must be 18 have a US shipping address and please be a subscriber okay so how do you enter it's simple I just want you to um, comment in the comments down below just the word summer since it's Memorial Day weekend, which is kind of the unofficial start to summer. I mean, I know summer is technically still like a month away, but that's okay. We're having a lot of summer weather anyway. So just comment summer down in the um, comments down below. And then next week for my weekly update number 66, I will tell who the winner is. The winner will then have to contact me via my email, which is always in my description box, which is just sojoquilts at gmail.com. And when you email me, you just need to tell me which quilt you want and your address, and I will get that sent off to you. Okay. Now, also, I do just want to mention, because there are a lot of scammers out there, if there's any comments that looks like mine that I've commented and telling you to go a different app or to send money, or that is not me. This is a free giveaway. I will pay for the shipping. I will send it. So please don't even respond to that. Hopefully that doesn't happen, <laughs> but you know, sometimes things happen. Now with that, I probably am not going to be responding to comments either. I will give a heart, but I probably won't answer to comments unless it's a specific question that, need, that needs an answer. Okay. All right. Good luck. Just enter down below. Just comment the word summer and we'll pick a winner next week. Till next time. Bye.